Hi beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're well and I hope you're good. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. I'm so excited to see you again. I'm really, really happy. Thank you for coming back just to see what I have next to share with you. And I just pray that as you come back each week to listen to me, not to me really, to listen to what God has to say to you, I pray that you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. So today um, I have uh, a challenging uh, topic to share with all of us today. You can already see that in the uh, topic, in the title down below. So today we'll be talking about what is life? What is our life about? What is your life about? What is my life about? What is our purpose? Why are we all here in this earth? What are we here to do? Um, it's a very, uh, very difficult question. It's a very deep question. And I think it's a very challenging question, even for me asking the question, you know. Um, and I think it's something that is so important for us to know as human beings. Because if you don't know the reason why you're doing something, um, you will not be able to get the best of it. So I think it's really, really important for us human beings to really know what our life is about, to really know the purpose of us being here, you know, it's not just for, we're not just here to watch the trees and watch the beautiful flowers and uh, watch our families and work and make money, build houses. I don't believe that that's all our life is about and that's what we'll be sharing today. So to start with, um, I think and I believe that the best way to find out the reason of something is to go right back to when the idea came about and the, just to go back to the beginning. So we have to start right back to the beginning um, of the world of life to really know what is the, what is the purpose of it? What is the whole intention um, behind it? Okay. To know what the human life is about, we must find out what God's intention is when he first created us. So that is the beginning. Um, God is the creator of all things. That is what I believe. Even though some scientists today um, have tried to go against that, some scientists today are arguing that things uh, were created in this world by the Big Bang uh, theory, um, which doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, the Big Bang Theory cannot really construct the whole human body. For example, the Big Bang Theory cannot construct my heart, the beating of my heart. The Big Bang Theory cannot construct my kidney and give me two kidneys. Why do I have one heart and two kidneys? I don't think uh, the Big Bang Theory would have thought about that. I don't think the, the Big Bang Theory would have given the woman uh, the enablement to be able to have a baby, I think these things need more than the Big Bang Theory to be perfectly constructed and perfectly put into place to work the way that they are working. So I believe that God created heaven and earth and everything that we see today. God created the animals, the beautiful trees, the flowers that we see. The waters, everything that we see, God created. However, we are not really going going into today into the uh, the creation of the world itself. Today, our focus is really um, on the human uh, creation. So we're focusing today on human beings and how God really created us and what His purpose is when He created us. So we will just go to Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. This will really give us God's intention uh, when he was thinking about creating human being. That's what this verse is really about. And I'll just read it for us. So it's Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. And it says, <clears throat> And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, 
and all over the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So I'll read that again. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. This is God's intention. This is what God was thinking about even when he created man. He said, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every, every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So I think in this verse, we really see God thinking out aloud even before he created us. He sat down and he, th and he thought, okay, now we have animals, now we have um, water, now we have trees, plants. What, who is actually going to take care of this because I'm not going to live here on earth. That's what God was thinking about. So this is God really, really thinking out aloud. And then we see in verse 27 and verse 29 of the same chapter, Genesis chapter 1, we see God actually bringing into action his thoughts. So first God sat down and planned. So your life is not really, you know, a coincidence because God already thought about you. He thought about you. He thought about what he wanted you to do. He thought, okay, I want to make you, I want to make you, uh, 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 I want to make you a marker in my own likeness for a purpose. He thought about you and said, I want to make you Joshua in my own likeness for a purpose. So God really thought about you before he created you. And we see the actual creation of human beings in Genesis chapter 1, 27 to 29. <clears throat> in verse 27, uh, that is where we see God actually creating human beings, human beings like himself. I just want us to stop here for a moment and just think about that verse uh, in, in verse 27, that God went ahead to create human beings in his own likeness. What does this tell you about your life? That God now sat down and created you in his likeness to be in this world. What does that tell you about your life? I will share what it tells me about my life and I hope you will share yours in the comments section below. I would really, really love to hear your, uh, to read your comments. Um, I can uh, learn something from them. I also need knowledge as much as you need knowledge and I also need to learn as much as everybody uh, needs to learn because we are here in this world to learn. Everybody still has something new to learn and I would really, really love your inputs in the comment section below to just share what that tells you about your life, that God then went ahead and created you and me, human beings, in his own likeness. What does it tell you about your life? So back to the topic. That verse and that line that God went ahead to create me in his likeness tells me that God created me and put me upon this earth to be his representative, to be an ambassador. He made me just like him. I have the same thing that he has. He made me just like himself. He saw me fit to be a suitable representative here on earth and that is what my life is all about i mean second corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20 says it in a clear manner in a way that we would all understand and i'll read it for us it just says um i'll just read second corinthians 5 verse 20b it says we are therefore christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. I'll read it again. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. So that verse there tells us that we are actually God's ambassadors here on earth. I'll just talk a little bit about ambassador, ambassadors and the characteristics of an ambassador. An ambassador is not voted in. An ambassador is actually appointed by a, a state or a government or by a person. 
an ambassador is not committed to their own interests, but is committed to the interests of the state or the government or the person that appointed them. An ambassador is covered by the state or the person who appointed them. So therefore, they don't have to worry about anything. They are covered by the person who appointed them or the government body that appointed them. I'll leave you there to relate these characteristics to God, who is the person that's appointed as representatives here on earth. If God approves you, no one can or no one is able to disapprove you. The Bible says, if God be for you, who can be against you? All you desire in life is actually achievable and obtainable. All you have to do is really step into what your life is really about. The reason you are in this world, which is to be an ambassador. And every other thing will be added onto you. And I think I would actually stop here for today. And just to end, I really want to say a big thank you to all of you, my viewers, that are watching my video every week. You guys are simply amazing. And I also want to say thank you to my new subscribers. You guys are so welcomed. Um, I'm happy that you found something good in my channel. And I hope and I pray that I will continue to bring something good for all of you, something that you would enjoy. And like I've said in my previous videos, if you do have any topics that you would like me to share or discuss about in my channel, please do leave them down below or you can also send me a message. Um, I think you can find my email address on the about of my channel. I think the email address should be there. And you can get in contact with me and I can share uh, what I think on my channel. So please do do that. Um, and thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic week. God bless. No matter what you're going through.